Zimbabwe, a country with huge potential, but uh, at the moment faces severe growth constraints caused by a credit squeeze, which is a really interesting situation. Uh, Zimbabwe switched to become a dollar-based country a few years back uh, during the period of hyperinflation, which has come to an end in uh, no uncertain terms. But at the moment, uh, as a dollar-based economy, uh, Zimbabwe has only two ways to increase liquidity. One is by raising exports, which is not really practical at the moment, uh, and the other one is to attract far greater levels of, of foreign direct investment. Unfortunately, the indigenization laws that are in place in, in uh, Zimbabwe are, are a big deterrent to, to, foreign, uh, to foreign direct investment, which has uh, fallen considerably in the last year or two. Uh, change will come, uh, and when it does, Zimbabwe will certainly be benefit hugely. Uh, Zimbabwean businesses themselves have survived hyperinflation and everything else the, the economy could throw at them. They've survived and thrived, in fact, and, and uh, our country, the companies that have displayed a huge amount of innovative skills and, and potential, they could become uh, gi giants in their own right in a, 